Sophia Ballin here from Philly.com, sitting right here in the foundry with Lion Babe alongside Rec Philly. Welcome, Lion Babe, to Thank Philadelphia. You. Thank you. How are you guys feeling? Good. Yeah. Free show, Zenning. Yes, yes. <laughs> How's it been? How's the tour been? Really fun. Um, it's kind of crazy that it's already our last show over east, wow. east part of the leg. Yeah. Um, but just every day has been fun. It's amazing to kind of be with our real crowd, like the people that know the music and have been with us since the beginning. Mm -hmm. So we just have so much fun and don't sleep. <laughs> and doing what fits. Yeah. So do you guys have any like pre-show rituals? Like do you do trust falls and stuff? And, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I trust Lucas. <laughs> you don't trust it? Just, no. Wait, it's been how many years now? Five years? Close to five music. years yeah. making music. Um, you know, I think he's definitely always got like the jam box going, playing mm -hmm. some like vibes to just get us yeah, calm just chill and chill. Backstage. Yeah. Got some tea. Yes. Gotta the get boys. the glam yeah. going. Yes. Do some stretching. Yeah. And um, yeah, talk through anything we need to do, but pretty chill. Yeah. We like to just be chill. It's nice. Like now we've played a couple shows already, so it's pretty everything. You're in the rhythm. You're in the rhythm, the rhythm of it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So your guys' story of how you guys came together is really interesting. So it was a college party, which it made me feel like, yeah. yeah, like what I was going to the wrong parties, clearly. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the college party and how you guys met. Um, really simple, basically. Yeah. You know, Jill yeah. is really good friends with uh, one of my first friends I met when I was in school, mm -hmm. and she was visiting him. We were all at this like, dorm room party, and we just met. You know, yeah. uh, I was playing some music. Mm -hmm. We started talking about the music, and then yeah, we kind of reconnected later on back in New York, and um, yeah, yeah, just kind of went off from there. And what was it about his music that you liked? Because I know that you went over to say you liked his music. What was it about his music that you liked? Um, I think the sound was just interesting. I mm -hmm. it was like definitely like beat heavy, but there was all this like atmospheric stuff going on. Yeah. And at the time, just what I was listening to, I hadn't really heard anything like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean. It, did have some sample vibes in there, but I was I was really dancing primarily, yeah. so I wasn't really my thing. And it w it was just something about the sound that just made me take note. I think it was also the point that the party was really boring. Yeah. So I was, <laughs> I was trying to find other things, and I just you know, luckily the music grabbed me. I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. What is that? So it was just kind of like really casual, organic meeting. So then how did the singing happen and what was it about her voice that made you say, wow, this is amazing, like we should work together? Um, that also kind of just happened, like the first thing we did, Jill was going to school for dance and she was choreographing a piece and she asked me to do some music for the piece. She had like this um, like animal theme to it and we did that and it was just really fun, mm -hmm. you know, collaborating on that. And then she said she always wanted to get into singing as well mm -hmm. and so I just went over house one day and I was like in the kitchen just playing some beats and yeah. stuff and she just kind of started singing to over them you know I was like yeah. and one of them was a treatment like fire beat mm -hmm. I was just like whoa that sounds really good yeah like, we should just record that real quick and, yeah. and you were like sure yeah I mean I, at the time I, I definitely wanted to do it and he was super chill that I was like oh maybe I'll just ask him and then he's like yeah sure whenever you feel like it so I didn't um, sing in front of him for like that first time. I, yeah. I took the laptop into my room. Singing is one of those personal exactly. things. Exactly. Very nerve wracking. Closed the door. Yeah. Brought me and my dog in there. Yeah. And do this. Yeah. And then you know I was definitely a little nervous, but then he heard it and he was like, "Oh, this is really cool." Yeah. And from there we just kind of started talking about it more, and it was nice because it, it. I never felt that he was like judging me, and that was. I think the number one thing. You, yeah. I kind of had this fantasy of, oh, if I ever started a band, I would have to like go up to people and they'd be like, you sound like crap, or, you know, yeah, like, whatever yeah. it is. So mm -hmm. it was nice that it was fun and we were just like having a good time. So yeah. I think that's why we continued doing it. Yeah. And how do you keep like that dynamic strong, like as a duo? Like, because I can imagine, you know, sometimes, you know, there's rough days, mm -hmm. and there's good days, sometimes you're like, I don't want to be around you right now. <laughs> how do you keep your like dynamic strong as a group? Um, I honestly think it's just, like moving through like navigating the whole world together has been mm -hmm. the thing that's unified us more i think as soon as treatment like fire started to take off and yes. we had the opportunity um you know whether it was sitting in a, a label meeting or mm -hmm. going to meet some people that we don't even know or people that were you know trying to like dangle fancy things in front of our faces yeah. it, it connected us more because we would you know be able to kind of laugh with those people or yeah. or talk about oh this is cool or, or push each other or, you should try this and that and i think 
you know, it, it just makes the whole experience more fun. Yeah. Because it can be, it can be a lot. There, yeah. There's a lot of people that are always trying to pull something out of you. So it was nice to kind of, it's always been nice to have someone to just talk a about partner. everything. Yeah. yeah. To have a partner so you know, like, okay, they know you. They're going to make, keep your best interest in mind and, um, you know, support you along the way. So, and then obviously we have fun together. So that, yeah. that's always good. <laughs> So when Treat Me Like Fire exploded, did you guys expect that? Because that was when you guys like kind of just started making music together. Uh, no, not yeah. really, not at all. You know, <laughs> we, that was 2012, we, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we definitely thought the song was special. And mm-hmm. We loved the song, and whenever we would show it to our friends or family, it was like, oh wow, this is so cool. And yeah. really when we put it out, it was really just so we like, you know, this is official, we've started, we have a song out, we want to yeah. play a show, we, like, we can actually be like, we exist as a band, because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, we can send people music. Um, but we were just like, that's just a starting point. We yeah. didn't realize how much it was gonna get picked up or you know, just people embracing it and sharing it on the internet. Yeah. So that was, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Do people assume you guys are together a lot? And how do you handle that? Um, <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, people always ask that about any yeah. type of entertainers. And I think it's just comes with the territory. Mm-hmm. So we just say we're partners. Yeah. <laughs> that's really, Musically. Yeah, I just yeah. think it's nice to like keep your that kind of part of your life separate. Mm-hmm. I mean, I definitely in my songs I talk about things all the time, but you know, I just I want to have my own life and then Lion Babe is my other life. So yeah. So five years, mm-hmm. Lion Babe is still a cub, would you say, or have you guys grown? How would you say you've guys grown over the past five years? It's definitely definitely been, grown. Yeah, a lot of growing. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of, it's inevitable. You can't, even sometimes when you're like, oh, I just want to take a day off from like growing. It's mm-hmm. like, you don't really have a choice. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys were like in the studio yesterday, right? Even on your we're day off. We were in the studio yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Allegedly your day off. <laughs> I know. I was like, it's our day off. Like, nope, you have this to do, but it's all good. I think yeah. it's just, um, you know, as soon as we decided we wanted to do it, it just, we got pushed to do lots of things. And when you get these opportunities, you want to go for them. So. Yeah whether it's traveling or getting ready and setting up a tour or making a music video or, you know, doing collaborations, like all of those things push you and they all make you grow. Yeah. And um, th- that's the best part. I think we wouldn't want to kind of, we didn't come into this knowing exactly what we want to do or how to do yeah, everything. So you kind of just have to be a sponge in order to kind of maintain um, the excitement, but also the creativity. You have mm-hmm. to just be able to push yourself, try new things and so, like I said, five years. Um, give me, I know a lot of people kind of, I've been reading, when I was reading reviews on you guys, people kind of struggle to kind of define your music and mm-hmm. your sound, right? It's always like electro soul or neo soul. You guys have even used neo soul, even though mm-hmm. you've, you've said, if we have to call ourselves something, it's neo soul. What are five adjectives that you think describe Lion Beef and your sound? Um, two and two would be collaborating. I would say soul is one. Yeah. Uh, Soulful? Yeah. Bumping. Pumping? I like that. I like that. That was pumping. Let's see. Um, There's Um, a song you have hold. That's very vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah, it's very vulnerable. Funky. She's good. Funky. Um, Sexy. Yeah, let's yeah. go with sensual, sexy. I feel that. I like that. Definitely. I definitely get the sexy, sexy vibe. I can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys just dropped that that mixtape, um, Sun Joint. Yeah. Tell me about that and what inspired that. So Sun Joint really is kind of our first mixtape. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've had our EP, we've had our album, and. Um, we are summer babies, so yeah. we've always loved the Me summer. Too. Exactly. Yes. It's just too much fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, we always wanted to have a project out during the summer, mm-hmm. and also after finishing the album, we've kind of been working on that for years, yeah. so we needed to kind of do something for ourselves. I think people were like, oh, this is a new thing, mm-hmm. but for us it felt so old, so yeah. to kind of just scrap it and go and start, get right into something else was like really good for us. So, yeah. And then to share it just in a much quicker amount of time than we yeah. did at the beginning. Um, was also very nice. Yeah, definitely. It was just fun to make, like, a lot, all that music was, like, really for ourselves, and we are just like, it would just be fun to have this out for summertime, so. Yeah. I really like the I'm Still In Love With You cover. Whose oh, idea yeah. was that? How'd that happen? Um, I think we just always listen to yeah. that song. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a great, yeah. it's a Alice, and just, yeah. like, 
in the summer when we're vibing mm -hmm. and I feel like I've sang I just sing that song when if he puts it on I'll sing it yeah and, um, we definitely love like reggae and mm -hmm. all that so it was just like it was a great way to kind of add these nods to all of our sounds because yeah. the thing is people can't place us because we do have a very eclectic very. range of taste so this was nice to kind of make a little collage of things we like and um, you know the reggae aspect was something I don't think we've done yet so that was yeah, we kind of just also just don't think about it that much. We kind of just are like, oh man, I love that tune or that vibe. It'd be yeah. cool to do something like that and yeah. just do it. Yeah, and it's very summery too. Yeah, as totally. well. Yeah, so I know you guys have probably seen everything that's been going on in the news recently. Like, it's been really extremely crazy yeah. um, in terms of um, Alton Sterling, yeah. um, Philando Castile, and the shootings in Dallas. Um, I know a few days ago you dedicated one of your shows to peace. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about that? Well, um, this whole tour is really dedicated to peace. Yeah. I think, um, you know, the only way that we can attempt to make sense or release some of the frustration that we just feel as people is yeah. are the shows. Um, you know, we've always, I think we both connect and love music because it gives you that escape. It yeah. gives you that moment of really just, you know, I don't know, just escaping, living in, yeah. in whatever the good feelings you're feeling from the music. And we're just trying to con deal with that um, the best way we can yeah. you know it's very hard to feel um, that you can do that much but all you can do is do what everyone else is doing is, is speak out and connect and share love and you know that's all that's all we can really try to do so hopefully um, you know we'll just make people feel better at least for a couple hours yeah, yeah that's what I was actually just talking to Rick really about that kind of using your gifts of course to kind of better everything and better push the movement forward of course push everything forward um, so you just dropped Sun Joint and it feels like a warm up for something else. Mm -hmm. You guys have worked with Childish Gambino and Pharrell. Mm -hmm. What's next? Um, you know, just probably more live bait. We're yeah. really uh, excited to do the rest of this tour, you mm -hmm. know, so that's kind of got us throughout the rest of the summer. And then, yeah, you know, come September mm -hmm. we'll just probably be back at it. Doing <laughs> back at it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're always making music. We yeah. want to do new visuals and travel more, yeah. see whoever we want to collaborate with, like, yeah. Yeah. just kind of riding the wave as usual. Exactly. Yeah. I think yeah. we, we like to plan some things, but it's nice to kind of, we've, I mean, with the album being out, and now with Sun Joint being out, we kind of are like, yeah. I think we can go on vacation for like two yes. weeks and or rest something, a little bit. Yeah. rest, readjust, see yeah. where we want, we want to go, and, you know, go from there. Everything with you guys is natural and organic. To be. I love it. <laughs> so I'm excited for tonight. Yes. yes. Thank you so much for speaking thank with you, me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And thank you for being here. Yay, Philly. Excited. Yay. Our first time in